going to see some, some old faces today. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the trade over the summer to get Jared, obviously mm -hmm. had to let go of Dario to, to make that happen. Uh, how tough was it to, to see him go? And, yeah. and so just what was that process like? Yeah. I, I think very highly mm -hmm. of Dario. And I think he's going to do um, some really positive things here in Phoenix, especially under Coach Williams, who I have a lot of respect for him, mm -hmm. who I actually grew close with um, in terms of conversing uh, you know, over the last few years here, but then also uh, you know, with Ricky Rubio, who, who I know very well and worked with for a number of years. Um, you know, but I think it just shows what we think of Jared and what he, we think he can be as a player uh, to give up an asset like Gary to, to acquire Jared. How, how was it to try and maybe unlock some of his potential last year? And uh, where do you think he can, can go in this league? You know, like, uh, yeah, I mean, it's... You know, I'm, I am really very concerned with our team. Uh, I, I have thought a lot about you know, where, where he may, may be going. Um, but just, I can speak out last year, and you, know, you want to make sure, you, we want you know, him to continue to you know, be a shooter, be a guy who ran the floor. Um, we've got easy baskets in transition. Uh, and then be, be a guy who uh, also complimented Cat you know, with his playmaking ability, which we saw he was able to do. So, uh, you know, he'll do positive things, but I am concerned with our guys. Do you have a, a lineup in mind for tonight yet, or is that something that you're going to decide before the game? Yeah. Uh, have you told the guys who's starting? Uh, how does that process work? I have not, have not told the guys who's starting, but, um, but I, I do have a, a lineup in mind. Um, and I have a lot, a lot of lineups that yeah. I'd like to see out there, too. So there may be some that, you know, people may not expect uh, necessarily, uh, but you know, we'll, we'll see a bunch of different guys out there with different players. Minutes limit for, for some of the guys tonight? Or? Yeah, I'll continue to talk to our, our performance group and see what the best um, course of action is in terms of, you know, especially after a shoot around uh, today. Yeah, is that something that with, with the performance group and some of the guys that have sitting behind the bench this year, is that something that you kind of have to figure out the season? How, it is. How this information is going to yeah. be relayed yeah. to you and then working and acting on it within a game? It is. Yeah. It is. It's a good, it's a good uh, Thing that you have to figure out because we have such brilliant people with this organization and, uh, and the special people that we uh, were able to add this summer. Uh, so, so, so for that reason, you, you want to make sure that, that everybody's opinions and their expertise are uh, you know listened to, and you can make decisions based on uh, based on that. What's your best uh, Ricky story? Uh, I got I got a lot of great Ricky stories and you know a lot. Of, Based in, based off of uh, you know just interactions and you know going to dinner, things like that. Uh, you know, I started working with him was it, five years ago. You know. Then you know so something that Ricky and I bonded through was the grief. Um, myself losing my father, him losing his mother. So we still talk to each other about that, um, and it's uh, you know it's a very it's a personal relationship that you know, I, I like to keep to myself. And he may say the same, but um, I, I can't say enough good things about Ricky Rubio, the person he is, the player he is, and will continue to become, and uh, just what he will do in his life. How has he grown since you Yeah, he's Yeah, he's been, you know, over, over time, you obviously do mature. Uh, but I think, you know, just, just through experience, though, Unfortunately, you mature when experiences maybe don't go in your way as well. And I think Ricky is somebody who's so aware of his surroundings and so aware of, of you know, what he can do better. And he's, he's somebody who, who is a self-evaluator. So for that reason, he's going to be a guy that is going to continue to get better, both on the court and off the court. What are you hoping to see from Jared as he takes the court for the first time tonight? Uh, just, you know, see the, see the game. Um, you know, through different lenses, and see it in a way that you know when he's handling the ball, uh, that he's making correct reads. Uh, when he's playing off the ball, that, he, that he's cutting, that he's uh, you know an active, active participant within the offense if he doesn't have the, the basketball. And then defensively, you want to see him uh, guard multiple, multiple positions. Uh, so it'll be you know we don't expect a lot from guys. A lot of guys are going to have to feel their way into things, um, but we just ask guys to continue to do what they've been doing if they can. And not necessarily worry so much about um, you know what what's going on throughout that game you know in, in the big scope of things, but more on 
okay, how can I get better this play? How can I do the right thing this play um, within how we want to play offensively and defensively? How much do you want to rip that Yankees hat off of Carl's head? Yeah, <laughs> no, I wasn't, I wasn't too happy with that. But, <laughs> hey, it's, uh, you know, the Yankees are uh, hey, they're, they're, they're a great organization, so you know, I got you know, hats off to them. But got a lot of love for Rocco and those guys. They, they did great things here with the Twins, so I'm, I'm happy to move in the right direction. All right. Thanks, guys.